Hello guys, welcome to this video. So in the last video we saw how to create the controllers and routes in Node.js using Express, right? Also I have explained to you about the use of creating controllers and routes and uh, its importance. So if you have not seen that video, I am adding that video in description. Kindly go to that video, have a look at it and come back to this video, right? So in this video I am going to uh, test this API. Okay, I'm going to show you how this APIs and schema works, right? So I go to <coughs> the postman. So I have everything ready, right? So this is a MongoDB, right? So this is the collection that got created. Okay, so uh, in the headers, if you see, have kept the key content type and value as application plus JSON right and if you see the url it is localhost 5000 okay and as i already told you i'm going to call this endpoint expense slash v1 right so when i go to index.js you see expense slash v1 will be forwarded to this route right expense and have already shown you inside that route uh, we are calling the corresponding controller method based on the method, right? Based on the action. So whenever the post request is called, this controller method is called and the business logic is executed, right? So I'm going to show you now. Perfect. So in the body, I'm going to pass some data, right? So I copy this. Paste it here. Let's see what happens when I click on send. So we got no data is inserted, right? So I think I have a error message like this, a generic message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say error dot message, right? So whatever error we captured in the catch, I'm going to uh, just display it right uh, let me show you now if you see here okay we got the JSON input that we passed from postman as a body right so I already told you what is request dot body is right so uh, the request dot body is nothing but the input that is passed along with this API so this JSON is passed as an input to this API right and it is captured by request.body right and that is what is printed here i'm console log i'm doing console log here of what request.body okay so i'll remove this i don't want two console logs written so i've changed the error message now uh, i go back here now i click on send see what is the validation error we got is spent for is shorter than the minimum allowed length 10 right so we are passing grocery here the number of characters is 7 but the min length that we set here is 10 you can see it here the min length is 10 right so it will not allow the string that is less than 10 characters okay so what i will do i will change it to 5 right uh, I saved it so this time what I do is I will remove total budget so I'm going to show you how the Mon mongo schema works right the models works so this time when I click on send you should see expense validation failed total budget total budget is required right so since we have set total budget field as a required field uh, the schema will not allow the data without what this field right whenever this field is missed the schema will not allow the data to be inserted to the database okay so it shows this error so i'll remove i will do control z i'll remove this field now okay click on send now reason for spend is required 
So whatever message we showed here, it gets displayed there. So I've already shown you the min length, right? It also worked. So similarly, I do control Z and do amount spent. Remove amount spent and click on send. Amount spent is required. Yeah, amount spent is required. Right, so do a control Z. Uh, the maximum limit is 2000. I'm going to send a data of 2001. Let's see what happens. Amount spent 2001 is more than maximum allowed value 2000. Right? See how beautifully the schema is working and uh, uh, it is not allowing us to store this data to the what? To the MongoDB collection. Right? It's not yet stored. It is still throwing us error. Okay. Uh, in the pay type, we have enum cash card money transfer. I'm going to send NEFT. Let's see. Okay. See? Amount spent is 2000. This is also showing and pay type is NEFT is not a valid enum value for path pay type. In the enum, we have set only three values and any other values other than these values is passed as data. This enum will not allow it and it will show this error. Right? So, perfect. So, I think I have shown you everything. So, I'll do a control Z. Control Z. So this time when I click on send, we should see it got inserted. See, this active is true. Can you see this? But we have not passed this active to uh, what to this data. But since we have said this active is type boolean and default value is true, it automatically set as true. Right? Also, you should see one thing has created it and updated it. I told you in the last video, right? So if we had timestamps is equal to true, it adds this created it and modified it on its own, right? So this underscore ID, okay, this ID is a default MongoDB ID. It is created and maintained by MongoDB. We don't have to do anything on it, right? It is like a ID column in SQL table. Okay, so now the data is stored. When I go to the database, this collection expense collection, I should see one record. Okay, so all this data is stored. Right? Perfect. 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 So, So far, we have seen how to uh, pass the data to this POST API. Okay, so let's check what happens when I send the GET request. So 404 not found. Because we don't have a REST API here. Okay, also, uh, I mean, we have not uh, mentioned any GET request under controller function for this. So it shows 404 not found. So only uh, a post request is made, it is allowed to insert data, right? So hope this video would have helped you in understanding about how to create a REST API and how it works and also how the MongoDB schema and models work at the back end, right? So I will see you in the next video with another content, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.